Hi, so today we're going to be looking at how to present data in tables. So this lesson continues on from the lesson on variables. So if you haven't watched that lesson already, uh, make sure you've had a little watch of that before you go on to this lesson. Um, so if this video is helpful at all or any of the other videos are helpful, please give it a like so that I know this is the kind of thing you would like me to carry on making for you. So let's have a little look at some data in tables and how to present that data properly. So just a little bit of a recap from last lesson. Um, what's in an independent variable? What's a dependent variable? And what's a control variable? Okay, so this is the same table as we had last time. So an independent variable, remember, is the variable that I change. I always remember it because it starts with an I. So the independent variable is the one that you change. The dependent variable is the one you measure. It's dependent on the result of the experiment. And the control variable is the ones you keep the same. Here's a couple of the investigations that we had last time. So will the temperature of the water make a difference to how much salt dissolves? So we've got temperature of water and we've got how much salt dissolves. The thing that you change for this experiment is the temperature of water. The thing you're gonna measure is how much salt dissolves. Let's just have a look at the next one. What happens when an acid is added to different metals? So what are we going to change? What are we in control of? What are we changing? So we're going to change um, different metals and what will we measure? We'll measure the observation, what will happen. Okay, um, what type of sugar is best for pollen tube growth? So what am I gonna change in this? So I'm changing the type of sugar, so I'm in control of the type of sugar. And what am I gonna measure? The pollen tube growth. Now it's really important that we know what independent and dependent variables are because we're gonna continue with that in how to put them into a table. So remember a table is like this, okay? And a table is where we put our data, our observations from our experiments. So it's really important that we've got a clear and concise data table before we set about doing our investigation so that we've got somewhere to record that information. So on the left-hand side, you put your independent variable. And on the right-hand side, you put your dependent variable. So in the first one, the temperature of water and how much salt dissolves, we would have our table and we would have on the independent variable, we would have the temperature of the water and our dependent variable is how much salt dissolves. Now you put at the top the unit, so the temperature of the water would be in degrees Celsius and how much salt dissolves, that might be in grams. Now, that means that we can put just our data in our table as raw numbers because the units are at the top of the table. So two grams would dissolve at 30 degrees Celsius in this example. So here we've got a table from the example that we've just looked at. Can you complete the other tables uh, from the other examples on the worksheet. So we've got temperature of the water, which is the independent variable on the left, and how much salt dissolves, which is the dependent variable on the right of the table. Okay, so we're just gonna have a look at a question that's based on tables and data. So here we have Emma and Philip want to see if the change of temperature of water affected the time taken for cold cure powder to dissolve in water. So Philip recorded his results and you can see he's recorded them on a bit of a scrap of paper. It's not gonna be very helpful, so he should have drawn a table beforehand. But now we're being asked to put that data into a table. So from the investigation, before we go any further, we need to identify the independent variable and the dependent variable. So the independent variable is the variable that is changed in the investigation. So what are they changing in the investigation? So let's just read it again. Emma and Philip want to see if changing the temperature of the water affected the time taken for the cure, cold cure powder to dissolve in water. So what were they changing? They were changing the temperature of the water. Okay, and what were they measuring? The dependent variable, what they were measuring is the time taken for the cold cure powder to dissolve in water. Okay, so which way goes which? On the left is our independent variable. So on the left, we're gonna have the temperature of water. 
and we need to put the units in, which is degrees Celsius. And on the right, we need to put the time taken for the cold cure powder to dissolve. Okay, and that's in seconds, okay? So when I read the table, it says the water at 40 degrees took 74 seconds, 20 degrees took 144 seconds, and 34 seconds at 57 degrees Celsius. So now we need to put it in order. So you can either start at the highest temperature or the lowest temperature. It needs to be in a sensible order. So I'm gonna start at the lowest temperature and I'm gonna work up. So the lowest temperature is at 40 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius, or 57 degrees Celsius. So our lowest is 20. And notice I don't need to put the degree Celsius because that's at the top. Then it goes to 40, then it goes to 57. And at 20, how long did it take? At 20, it took 144 seconds. At 40, find 40, it took 74 seconds. And at 57, it took 34 seconds. Okay, so that is much clearer data that we're able to interpret. Now, there's one more question here for you to have a go at that's also on the worksheet. You need to write a plan for an investigation. You need to include in it your independent, independent, and control variables. Okay, and the investigation is um, water evaporates faster if temperature is increased. So you need to think about how you'd test that, what you'd measure, what you'd keep the same, and then you need to draw a table to record your results in. Okay, I hope it's been helpful. Like I said, give it a like if it's helpful um, and have a look at the next video as well, please.